Hello, my name is Gus Mueller and I'm the guy who wrote Acorn. Today I'm going to talk to you about the brush designer. It's not a new feature in Acorn 5, it's actually been around for a number of years. And uh, um, as you can imagine, it's a little tool to help um, create brushes. So to open it up, let's choose the window, brush designer window. And you see this fancy little window come up with a bunch of knobs and sliders in it. Now to start with, we're, we're just going to mess with some of the simple settings, such as size. I'm going to move this up and you can see our brush changing over here in the canvas and you can change the spacing. Acorn's brush system works on a series of dabs, so as you can see, our brush move around and stuff like that. It, it's, it's really a bunch of series of dabs, and that's what makes a brush stroke. Um, our softness adjusts the edges of our brush to make it softer or harder, and we've got other things like squish, rotate, and flow, and jitter, and things like that. But before we get to those, I want to I want to show you a neat little feature. You can actually draw in this little canvas right here. And then we can go back here and adjust our previous settings. So this is awesome in case we want to uh, see, keep, you know, just our normal brush stroke and see what our settings will do to it. Um, so here we'll change our spacing, and that'll do that. And let's let's adjust the flow. The flow is basically the the amount of transparency it introduces in a stamp. So if if you want a lighter feeling brush, you could bring down the spacing to something like 9% and bring the stroke, the flow way down like that. And you can see how it really makes a, a sort of like almost a pen felt tip marker kind of thing. Now, if you're paying attention at home, you'll notice I've got these other options down here called uh, use tablet pressure for opacity and one use tablet pressure for stroke width. Now, let's uncheck this one and you'll see that the edges are no longer transparent. Um, I've been drawing with the mouse so far. Now I'm going to use my Wacom stylus. You'll, you'll see I'm just drawing here, and I'm not pressing really hard at the beginning here, and it's, it's slightly transparent. If we turn this option off, you'll see how it is, you know, completely opaque now. And uh, we can turn that back on, and we can uncheck this other option, you know, tablet pressure for uh, stroke width, and that that'll make our uh, strokes behave just like as it would if we were using a mouse. And then finally, we've also got this option down here called Pressure Range. Um, this lets Acorn know how much you want pressure to count for. So I'm going to move it down to the pressure range at 26%. And uh, um, you can see that the, the width of our strokes is not quite as, you know, less down here. Let me, let me draw again. I'm pressing harder. It gets a little bit thicker, but not much. But I'm going to crank this all the way up to 100. And you can see the softer we press, you know, at the beginning here, um, the, the thinner the stroke is going to be. Um, we can adjust the values of this to, you know, sort of tweak how we want things to be more, you know, precise or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's the uh, tablet settings. Now, earlier I mentioned that when drawing, Acorn uses a series of dabs to create its lines. Um, we can see this when we increase the spacing up to something like, you know, 122%. Now, I'm going to draw a bunch right here. And it kind of looks like a mess, but if we move the spacing back down, we're going to see our lines show up. Acorn does that all in real time. Now I'm going to draw some more, and, it, and it's nice and smooth right here. I'm also going to change the size up to, I don't know, 158% points. And then I'm going to move the spacing down to 1. What that means is that our, our brush strokes are going to be really close together. Now, as I move around now, you're going to see that it's a, it's a little bit laggy. Acorn is not keeping up with quite with my cursor. Um, this is because it's causing Acorn to do a lot of work with all those dabs. If you find yourself in a situation where you've got a really big brush and the spacing is really tight, you might want to just bump that up to, I don't know, maybe 6%. Now you can see that Acorn is, is keeping up with the brush, no problem. This is because Acorn is doing basically six times less work. All right, so let's close this window, and here we are on our canvas, and I'm just going to draw. I'm drawing on this nice background layer, and I like this brush. I could switch to the eraser tool real quick, but um, there's a little shortcut Acorn can do. If you hold on the Option and Command keys, it, your current brush actually becomes an eraser, which is kind of handy. I'm just going to delete a bunch of this. Now I'm going to let go of the Command and Option keys, and I'm just going to draw. You hold it down again, and you can. It, it's it's kind of nice if you if you just want to draw and then trim trim up some areas. Um, you don't have to switch between tools real quick. You, Acorn just has this handy shortcut. And that's it for today. There's a whole bunch of other things you can do with the brush designer, like you know, play with the scatter, or add images, and things like that. And you can even save them out, and they'll they'll show up in the uh, little list here. Um, but maybe we'll get to those some other day. Thanks for watching.